Our time to Six Flags was over and we had to head for the hotel. On the way back, we hit the National Basketball Hall of Fame. Fun fact, the game of basketball was created in Springfield, Massachusetts, where we are right now. We passed Springfield Union Station. The station is served by the Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority and Amtrak. Eventually, we hit Worcester, Massachusetts, where we see an MPTA commuter train down at the platform in CSX's Worcester Yard. We do eventually get to the hotel, but there's a funny thing about our hotel. You know the AR Massachusetts I mentioned in all my videos? Yep, we were in AR Massachusetts. And it was a good hotel. It had a swimming pool and the rooms were nice and comfy. Breakfast was served the next morning. And no later did we get up and have breakfast, we had to be back on the road again. And near the AR Yard, we found HSP 46 2012 with another MBTA commuter train near AR Yard. This train is set to run in push-pull service, meaning the engine can either pull the train or push from the, from the back. The train can go backwards with a cab car on the rear end. I'm not an expert on this territory, but I believe the train originated in Boston's North Station. And I don't know where its final destination was before turning around. Maybe it was here in AR Massachusetts. I guess I'll never know. But it was just so cool and so real to be in the yard where most of my trains I see at home start and end their journey. Eventually, we hit Boston. I remember Boston's North Station that I had mentioned. We were approaching North Station very fast. Because out the window, we could see the MBTA's main shop for repairs to locomotives and cars. At least four train sets were sitting in the yard next to the shops. Over the river and into the station. Boston's North Street Station. Today at North Street Station, even though we can't see it well, one of the MBTA's GP40 MC locomotives were sitting there. These are rare locomotives only used on the MBTA. We eventually hit the heart of Boston and eventually the Atlantic. But right beside the Atlantic Ocean was the New England Aquarium, where there's all types of creatures under the sea. And no, I will not be singing Under the Sea from Little Mermaid, even though I kind of wanted to, because the experience was so real. All of us were happy, quite like this guy. And we had time to set up for weird photos. And this plane from afar looked like it was going to go in the ocean. Um, airplanes can do that. Uh, they can. <laughs> yeah, come on, always so successful. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So Don't worry, there is an airport across the Atlantic. For lunch, we go into Margaritaville. I had a chicken sandwich and some french fries, and the french fries did not disappoint. Right outside Margaritaville was the Quincy Market. I had no interest in shopping, so I tried to get down to one of the MBTA stations. Unfortunately, you need a ticket to get down there. But some of the shops had railroad merchandise. There was quite a bit of MBTA references there, and other railroad stuff. We took a last few looks at Boston, but eventually we had to return to the DNH. Some of these streets used to be the right of way to the Union Freight Railroad, a railroad that took freight from the north side of Boston to the south. And speaking of south, we made it to South Street Station where an MBTA commuter train was coming in. Boston is definitely a railroad town at heart. With trains above and below the streets. 
Eventually, somewhere in this area, we hit Back Bay Tunnel and the Back Bay Station, or at least pass it, as the MBTA's right of way is out the window here. Over a rail yard, I'm not exactly sure which rail yard it was, but there was a lot of trash containers in it. These trash containers were gray and not the ones we see usually in the DH. We eventually hit this MBTA station, and this MBTA station is next to some famous places like the New Balance building, and right beside New Balance was the Boston Broods and the Boston Celtics, their hockey and basketball team. Even though we didn't get much railroad action, that's not what this trip was about. This trip was about making memories with friends that will be leaving you because you're graduating soon. Memories you always cherish, and you'll remember the good times. As the sun set, we were almost back home as we took one last look at the Boston and Albany Bridge. But don't worry, something was waiting for us when we got home.